This is yet another statistics uh, data analysis problem for the new GRE. As promised, I said I would do more of them. The first obstacle in this problem is getting over the fact that there is crazy vocabulary like random variable and normally distributed. A random variable is just a quantity that you are doing statistics with. Like, in this case, the random variable x is normally distributed. What could that mean? It could mean that x are x measures test scores, and a bunch of people get 650 and a bunch of people get 850, for example. Now, a normal distribution is a bell curve, and the percentage refers to what percent of the area is under the bell curve. For example, the 50th percentile is going to have half of the area under it. I only have to go a little bit further to get 10% more of the area. So we can say this is the 60th percentile. And they tell us that this is 650. Now, the question is, is the 75th percentile halfway between 60 and 90? Or is it more towards the 60, or is it more towards the 90? Well, to gain 15% more of the area, Let's say I could go out to here, and this would be the 75th percentile. So we did, I'll do some colors now. The red region is half the area. Then we said the green region is 10% of the area. And then this new red region is another 15% of the area. And when I say area, I mean area under the curve. To get to the 90th percentile, we have to get an area that is equal to this region right here. This 15%, we've got to accumulate that amount using the tail end of the curve. Now we're going to have to go way farther out to do that. So the 90th percentile is going to be somewhere way out here because I'm going to have to go a lot further under this little tiny bit of the curve to accumulate 15 percent of the area. I didn't have to go very far on this part of the curve to accumulate 15% of the area. Again, I apologize if this was a little muddled and difficult to understand. Uh, it will help a lot if you've had statistics before. This will make a lot more sense. Um, the key to a normal distribution is that most of the values are in the middle, which tells you that the 60th percentile and the 75th percentile are not going to be nearly as different as the 75th percentile and the 90th percentile. 
in other words, uh, the value... Oh, and, and the whole point of this was that <clears throat> we were told that this is 650 and 90% 90 is 850. This line right here is 650 and 90% is at 850, which puts 750 halfway in between 650 and 850. And obviously the 75th percentile is to the left of 750. So quantity B is going to be bigger. I successfully made a mess of this page. I'll try to keep doing more statistics and data analysis problems because I think this is one of the areas where people are having a lot of trouble with the new GRE. Hope you learned something.